This video is an introduction to dissecting crayfish, a very common crustacean in our lakes and rivers. To do this dissection, you're going to need the following items. Gloves, safety glasses, your dissection kit, your dissection tray, and of course your crayfish. To begin our introduction, we're going to look at the external anatomy of the crayfish. Looking at the dorsal or back of the crayfish, we can see that the body is divided into two main parts. The cephalothorax, which contains the head and the thoracic region, and the abdomen. The cephalothorax is divided into 13 segments, and the abdomen is divided into 6 segments. Each segment contains a pair of appendages. The body of the crayfish is covered by a carapace which is made of chitin, um, similar material to your fingernails. On the cephalothorax carapace, you can see the cervical groove, which separates the head from the thoracic region. You can also see a prominent indentation on the cephalothorax carapace that defines the central area and separates the two sides of the thoracic region. Turning now to the lateral side, we can see that the carapace extends right to the underside of the crayfish. Looking now to the head, we can see the eyes of the crayfish and the rostrum, which is an extension of the crayfish's carapace used for protection. We can also see on the head region um, the antennae and an antennules used for touch, taste, and balance. We can also see the mandibles, which is the jaws of the crayfish, and the maxillae, which are used for holding and tearing food and passing it to the mouth. Moving on to the thorax, we can see the maxillipeds, which are the first three appendages in the cephalothorax. These are used for holding food. We can also see the chelipeds, which are the large claws used for defense and capturing prey. The four remaining segments contain the walking legs. Uh, we can also determine the sex of the crayfish looking at the walking legs. You can see here the males have an extra set of appendages. Moving on now to the abdomen, we can see the segments of the abdomen contain swimmerettes. These are used to create currents and help the crayfish swim. On the last abdominal segment, there is a pair of pointed appendages modified into a pair of uropods with a triangular shaped telson in the middle. This is where we find the anus. The uropods with the telson make up the tail fan, which is used to force water forward and help the crayfish swim backwards. Let's look now at the internal anatomy of your crayfish. Using one hand to hold the crayfish, dorsal side up, in the dissecting tray, use your scissors to carefully cut through the back of the carapace, cutting along the indentations to separate the thoracic portion of the carapace into the three regions. Start the cut at the posterior edges of the carapace and extend it along both sides in the cephalic region. Use your forceps to carefully lift away the carapace and detach the connecting tissues. Be careful not to pull the carapace away too quickly. You might tear or damage the underlying structures. Place your specimen on its side with its head facing left. Using your scissors, cut along the side of the crayfish, extending the cut line forward toward the rostrum at the top of the head.
Use your forceps again to carefully lift away the remaining parts of the carapace, exposing, exposing the underlying gills and other organ, organs. After inspecting the internal features of, your, of the cephalothorax, place the crayfish with the dorsal side up and then cut the abdomen along its line of symmetry with your scissors. Use your scalpel to separate the entire body of the crayfish into the two symmetrical pieces. When you're using your scalpel, always cut away from your body. You can now identify all the internal structures of your crayfish.